I thought Nate might pop in for a little rebuttal to that, making fun of me for influencer lingo. But I did want to show you what I'm wearing. This is a Aritzia tank top. It's ribbed. I actually really, really like it. Plus it's sustainable fabrics. So that's cool. Then these are vintage jeans for Crossroads from Crossroads that I got altered. And then sorry, not sorry. I know so many of you hate these, but I have been wearing my Crocs almost every day. I mean, they're just so com comfortable. Okay. I got to start that over again because I cannot talk. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. Keeping it because Nate's involved, but I don't know. I can't speak today. And then I have the italic Phoebe bucket bag, which I'm in love with Italic. They make products using the same factories as Prada and Gucci, but it's like a hundred bucks, but is literally a thousand dollar luxury quality. So definitely check that out. Now we're off on our errands. There's no good place to set this camera in the car. So you're a little off angle, but that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. We have so much to prep before our trip and we need to get Ponza her flea and tick medication before we leave so we can give it to her today because she's being boarded by making fetch happen LA. I'll add her handle. She's amazing. If you need dog training, dog boarding, dog like hike day camp. So we're at the pet hospital. We're a little early. So I thought I would show you a little something. This is an unpopular opinion, but I feel as though you need to know. So lip gloss. I have this Summer Fridays lip gloss. Everyone loves it. I do not love it. I would not recommend buying this. It is so messy. This little tube squirts stuff everywhere. It's not clean. You have like the lip gloss all over the packaging. I mean, it makes your lips really nice and glossy, but it gets everywhere. So don't buy that. Even though you've heard a million influencers get it. No shade to Summer Fridays, but not my jam. What is my jam is this Tower 28 lip gloss. It's clean. It has a perfect little applicator, super glossy, really hydrating. And I'm just going to put a mask on. So this makes no sense, but could not recommend this brand more. Okay. Okay. Ponte, you ready? You ready to go in? Yes. So we're gonna go and we're getting her tested for heartworm because the medication we give her is flea tick and heartworm. And since she's been off of it for a month, you wanna make sure that your pet does not have heartworm before you give them that medication. So if you haven't checked your animal for heartworm, it is something that happens in LA. It's more common on the East Coast, but make sure you do that because we're just trying to keep our little babies healthy. We need you to live a long time because you're a little angel girl, okay? And Banfield Pet Hospital is amazing. They're everywhere in the country, so check them out. Baby girl does not have heartworm because you're the best nugget. She was so good. And now I'm gonna treat myself with my favorite matcha. And I don't think I've ever vlogged this place before, but Maru Coffee in Los Villas has the best matcha because they use Iporo, which is my favorite matcha. So we're gonna get a little matcha. Thank you so much. Yep. Sweet nectar of the gods obtained. This matcha is so, so good. And even if you think you don't like matcha, you have to try it. It's so smooth and creamy and delicious. So now I'm headed home and I'm gonna start packing and go over all of my top wellness travel tips and hacks because right now more than ever, we have to keep ourselves healthy. And there's lots of crazy things, not only COVID, but we're all a little immunosuppressed right now. So traveling is just bombarding your system with tons of different bacteria and viruses. And I have got so many good tips for you that you can use for the rest of your life and avoid getting sick and also stay feeling good when you're traveling. Bing. Ooh, okay. So now packing all the essentials, I'm going to go over so many tips with you. So 
When I'm traveling and on a plane, I always wanna make sure that I have lots of immune boosters and antioxidants on hand. And let's be honest, when we're traveling, we just don't eat as healthy. I personally do not eat as healthy, especially when we're going to visit our Thomas side of the fam. You know, they're not in LA. They're not into necessarily organic food or superfoods or anything that I eat on a regular basis. And I don't have the same breakfasts. So I wanna make sure I have supplementation. What I do every time I board a flight is I take some chaga mushroom. This is the Four Sigmatic Four Sigmatic Chaga Mushroom Powder. It has beta-glucans. It's really great for your immune system. This is a great packet. You can put it in a hot water and drink it plain. You can put it in a coffee. I normally just like melt a little bit in hot water and just chug it. Then I'll do a lipospheric vitamin C. It's a really bioavailable type of vitamin C to boost your immune system. Then I make sure that I have all of my vitamins on deck. I will always take them before flight and then try to stay really consistent because like we said, we're not getting all of our normal nutrients. So I take the new chapter prenatal. I love this vitamin. It's fantastic and you don't have to be pregnant to take this one. It has amazing nutrients. Then I make sure to take my multi-collagen from Ancient Nutrition. Love Ancient Nutrition and normally when I'm home I make smoothies and I put collagen powder in it. Since I won't be doing that while traveling, I just take it in supplement form. Then I'm taking these Kinder Thoughts from the fullest. They have turmeric, they have saffron extract, just some great anti-inflammatories to keep me feeling good. And then, ooh, this is an important one, magnesium. Whenever I travel, I get backed up. I'm not having as much fiber from my smoothie or greens. And the worst thing is to be constipated when you're on vacay. So I love these little calm travel packs. They're so, so good and easy. You can take them anywhere, put them in anything. Then I like to take probiotics while I'm traveling because normally at home I make my own fermented coconut yogurt and that keeps me up on the probiotics, but I don't have that when I'm traveling, obviously. It'd be so funny if I took my Coco Yo in like a freezer bag and brought it to East Coast, but definitely not doing that. I'm embarrassing enough with my food ordering and all the random stuff that I eat. So we're gonna avoid that one. And I normally take the Ancient Nutrition Probiotics with zinc, but I ran out of that. So these uh, yarrow or jarro, I have some samples of this. So probiotic. Then I've been taking fish oil. Nate and I are, we started trying for babies. So fish oil is really, really good. Also anti-inflammatory, good for your immune system. So this is a, a good thing to take. Um, I think Hum is a pretty good brand. I don't know if it's the number one best, but they sent me this, so I'm testing it and why not? Then I always bring my organic stevia without any additives. A lot of the packets of stevia that you get at like Starbucks or things like that have weird additives, erythritol, funky stuff. So I pack this with me that I can put it in whatever I need to sweeten wherever I am. And along those lines, I bring my Vejo with me. I am obsessed. Get yourself a Vejo if you do any kind of traveling or if you're just someone who is on the go and you don't love making matcha. I pretty much exclusively do their matcha latte with oat milk pods. This is an organic ceremonial grade matcha, organic oat milk, unsweetened, and it makes you the most delicious frothy matcha. And I can have one every single day. Can't go a day without my matcha. And then I don't have to pack my Ipodo matcha, my whisk, my strainer, all that kind of stuff. Then I always like to have snacks. Having healthy snacks when you travel is so important because it prevents you from eating things out of desperation that you wouldn't normally eat. I like to bring bars because I'll eat these for breakfast, maybe with some fresh berries or whatever I have access to when I'm at the lake house. Like I never really know what's going to be there or what I have access to. There's going to be six little kids running around. So sometimes if I buy some organic fruit or it's there, it might not be there by the time I'm eating breakfast. I love these MCT bar. They're so, so, so good. They don't have any sugar in them. I talked about them in my favorites videos. If you wanna check that out, I will link that. Um, but they're 
they have collagen, they have almond butter, really high quality protein, fat, all the things. And I'm also just trying a few other bars. Um, I think most of these I've tried before, but I look for bars, I look for something that doesn't have any refined sugar. So this one has almond flour, chia seeds, apple cider vinegar, rosemary extract, baking soda. This actually, I don't know if I've tried this one. It's keto. We will see. I get all these bars from Lassen's. And then this brand, the Red, Radiant Energy Delicious Delivered. And the only sweetener in this is dates, which is really nice. Tasty, tasty, yummies. And that's pretty much it. I also brought these Four Sigmatic Superfood Beauty Mix. They're really tasty. If I do find some oatmeal or something like that, I may just add this in to give myself a few more little superfood ingredients and give it a little berry flavor. So that's kind of the, the food dietary stuff. I also try to avoid refined sugar, inflammatory oils as much as possible when I'm eating out and eating at other people's homes. But I think that sometimes you kind of just have to release let go enjoy just be on vacation let people cook you food that they made with love and you're going to be okay especially if you set yourself up for success with this but next let's kind of get into skincare and how i prep my skin and try to keep my skin clear when i'm traveling because as we know all of that weird food that we're going to be eating just makes us so much more prone to breakouts inflammation irritation all that kind of stuff I'm not drunk Nate, enough. Nate's no, asking who sponsored this video and why we have to film it. I gotta complete the wellness travel tips. And because we like to be to the airport like three hours early, because something that we both do, we don't want to be rushed. We are those people that come hours in advance mm -hmm. and then have a drink. You don't show up late to an airport. No, you just come on time. And I didn't get to film my skincare portion at home, but I'm going to show you all the products. I'm probably going to like go on my lonesome after Nate's had one drink and find a corner and do it so he doesn't have to deal with us. You've got half a drink. With you us. can do it now if you want. Have you had half a drink? And another part of the wellness travel <laughs> is cocktails. It's the only at the airport it's an essential and nate always likes to say it's there, because it's an organic beer <laughs> it's good gut health it's um what are other words you use yeah yeah it, we're trying to sorry avoid not it. sorry you use that a lot we're trying to avoid blood clots we want to thin our blood a little bit mm. another wellness hack i don't want to drink i drive you to we have to no the blood clots no also what do you always it's the only reason i drink what do you always say, babe? You say, this could be our last drink. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that's a little morbid for it's your viewers. It's a little viewers, morbid, but, but it could be our last Never gonna have a plane without having a drink. Because it could be your last. But I am drinking something healthy. Normally, I try to do a two spoon margarita, which is a sugar-free margarita. It's and like a bacon double cheeseburger. You blend up and just put some rum in it. He only wants to be in the video to try to derail me, but we're not letting it happen. But it's not happening today. And on be, LAX skincare. Be babe. the best version of yourself. I'm always honey. the best version. They don't need to know me. Nice one. They don't need to know me. Yes, they, they do. They can think He's I'm wonderful. a pancreas a hole. You know the real me. It's not true. He's, this is fronting. He's fronting 101. Big peacock. But I'm going to get something easy today because I don't feel like being a pain. And I normally get a true sweet margarita, which is a sugar free margarita. I will leave a link to how to order it when you want to be a little difficult. But I just did a Tito's and soda with two limes. Keeping it light. So brave. Pretty brave. So brave. Okay, real talk. I'm not going to lie. This is the second time I've tried to film this clip because red eyes are real. Like, I feel a little bit underwater. My thoughts are just not connecting, but I'm pulling it together. We've got it together. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to share all of the skincare tips and tricks because obviously I didn't do it before I left and we had cocktails at the bar and then got on the plane and I fell asleep. So here we are now. We're in Pennsylvania at Nate's brother's house. It's beautiful. The light's perfect. I'm feeling good. Even though I'm a little off, going to take a little nap and a cold shower after this. I'm going to be right as rain, but let's go over skincare. So I really highly recommend that you do either your AM or PM skincare before you get on a plane, whatever 
time of day it is, closest to AM or PM, then don't put on any makeup. Just don't do it. It's so dry in the plane. All of that stuff is just gonna like suck into your pores. There's so much bacteria and dirt and grime. It's just, you wanna protect your skin and don't put any makeup on it, anything pore clogging. Then normally what I do is I'll take a makeup wipe and I'll wipe down my skin a little bit at the end of my flight, do a sheet mask and get really hydrated. And then I'll do a mist on top of that, a moisturizer, or an SPF if it's daytime, and then my just my skin feels clean and fresh. It's a little different during COVID because we're already wearing masks. So what I did was I just did my PM skincare routine. When I arrived in the morning in Baltimore, I washed my skin in the airport bathroom. Then I just did like a light mist and a light moisturizer. Then when I got in the car, I did my sheet mask. So my skin just looks dewy and hydrated. And after I did my sheet mask, I put on some SPF and I felt really, really good. And I did a little bit of light makeup. So really the moral of the story is just like, bring as many of your skincare products that you normally use in your routine as you can so you don't freak your skin out. Make sure you have clean skin when you're traveling. Make sure you have lots of hydration. Like I love a good hydrating mist when I travel. And I'm testing this Indie Lee mist. But you can mist multiple times throughout your flight and it feels so, so good. So I'll kind of like show you what I brought in my bag this time. Some things I will link below that I are tried and true and tested and that I love, and then other things if I'm still testing them and don't know how I feel about them yet, I'll leave that out. But I have this great travel size of the Say So Foaming Cleanser. This is so great for getting off makeup. It deep cleans, it's a wonderful product. Then I'll use my Coco Kind Essence, which is in the other bag. I should just grab it. Love this product. Perfect skin primer, hydrator, all the things. So, so good. Then I used the new Coco Kind Probiotic Acne Serum. Just because when I travel, I tend to break out more. Everyone does. So I'm trying to prevent with a little salicylic acid. Then I did the mist that I was talking about. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's what I did. You can cut that part. Then I did a little Coco Kind Revitalizing Eye Cream. It's so nice to have this because of the cooling tip for when you travel because we often get like puffy under eyes and all that kind of stuff. So this like feels so soothing and amazing for tired, jet laggy eyes. So I love this product. Then I'm testing this moisturizer from Evolve Beauty. It's a peptide moisture cream. I think it's going to be a little too thick for my skin. I just read it and said for mature dry skin, which I'm acne prone sensitive. So I don't think this is exactly what I need. And then I went in with the Versed Guards Up SPF, which is so, so good, but it's sold out everywhere. I only brought this because it's a lot smaller than my lather one, but the lather one is fantastic. S SPF 50. You could definitely get that. I will link that below. So that's kind of the tea with skincare. You want to make sure that you're not freaking your skin out with a lot of new products. Try to keep your same products that you're using. And a lot of products that you have are probably one to two ounce anyways, but make sure you really think about bringing lots of skincare because you will need it and you want to stay on track. And then last but not least, hydration. That's one thing that's so hard when you're traveling to make sure you're staying up on it. Plus we're drinking booze, we're in planes getting dehydrated. So definitely at least half your body weight in ounces like you would every day. Like that's my recommendation for hydration. But when you're traveling, especially on a plane, if you can do a little bit more, one more water bottle, if you're having cocktails, you need to add one glass of water for every cocktail in addition to the ounces that you're already getting and you're gonna feel amazing. And I feel really good after a red eye and I'm just gonna keep the good vibes going. I'm gonna hang out with the Thomas fam. I'm probably gonna take a nap and then have a cocktail. <laughs> well, I hope that made sense first of all, cause I'm a little all over the place. I hope you learned something. Hope it was educational, entertaining, informative, all the things. Let me know if you want more Nate in the vlogs. He will begrudgingly be a part of it maybe. I don't know. I think he's getting better on camera, which is so, so fun because I want you loves to get to know him. Like I know him. He is the funniest, sweetest, kindest, most entertaining human that I've ever met. And that's why I decided to marry him. So I'm glad he made a little appearance on this video. Fingers crossed he's interested in doing it again.
but I love you so, so much. If you haven't subscribed already, you know how much it means to me. You know, every time you subscribe, a kitten gets its wings. So why do I always say the weirdest things in the video? I think in my last video, I had some analogy from like, I don't know, 1800. So that's just who I am. That's the beautiful thing about YouTube. You get to know how weird I actually am in real life. And we can just be like weird besties who just blabber on forever. Okay. I need to get some sleep, take a cold shower, do all the things. But I love you so much. I will see you next Tuesday. I'll have more clips from Lake Life and maybe more vlogs if you like vlogs, if you're at all interested in this micro niche 32-year-old influencer in her life. <laughs> okay, I love you. You're the best. Mm -hmm.